Welcome back. We hear the words every day, budgets, deficit, debt. But it doesn't seem like anyone is actually solving anything in Washington. Can we come together enough to actually get a budget? With us now are Republican Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn from Tennessee and Democratic Congressman Elliot Engel from New York. Please welcome them. <laughs> Congressman, you're from the President's Party, so I'm going to start with you. The stuff the Democrats have said about the Republican budget are pretty harsh. Is it really that bad? Well, I think it's bad because I think if we are, go look, we are not balancing our budget, and we need to do that. I think both parties understand that. The question for me is one of fairness. Who should sacrifice? I think all Americans need to sacrifice. And the Republican budget, I believe, makes the, the working class, the middle class, the poor people sacrifice, while leaving the people that are doing well unscathed. I'm glad people are doing well. I want to encourage them to do well. We want to enact policy so that they do well. But I think that everyone needs to pay their fair share. It's about fairness and equity. So we, we're going to raise taxes on people who make over $250,000 a year? Well, we all have differences. I happen to think that two hundred and fifty dollars might be, might be low, quite frankly. But, but, but I happen to, because I'm from New York, and, and in New York things are very expensive. But, but let me tell you this. I, I think that if we're really honest with each other, and we really need to get the, 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 the debt uh, ended, and we really need to start balancing our budget, we have to have a combination of both. We have to cut spending, no doubt, but we have to raise some taxes on those who can't afford to pay. I don't want to raise taxes on working class people who can't afford to pay. So it's a balance, it's common sense, the American people get it, and for some reason Congress doesn't. Uh, Congresswoman, it looks like the Republicans just want to throw a monkey wrench in everything that the Democrats offer, that you just have become the party of no. Prove to them that you're actually the party of yes when it comes to the budget. Well, I think more importantly than that, we are the party of KNOW. No. We want people to know what is in this legislation. You know, when you pass bills like uh, the health care bill where you have to pass it to read it to find out what's in it, uh, when you rush things forward and you haven't taken the time to vet it, that's a problem. The American people deserve better than that. They expect better than that. And I am glad that people from both parties are standing up and demanding better than that. I think that what we have to do is keep the focus on being fair, being fair to the next generation, to our children and our grandchildren, so that we don't leave a huge, enormous burden for them that is an unsolvable problem. So, so let's be the party of KNOW. Let's have the American people be the people of knowing. You're, you're going to cast your vote for the first time for president. What are you, 19? Yes. Which side of this debate are you on? I think she said it perfectly. Um, uh, myself and a lot of my friends, we all are, are scared for the future. You know, Social Security, we don't know if we're going to get it. Our national debt, our, the interest payments on our debt, skyrocketing. This is a scary situation, and a lot of the people in this room and a lot of people in Congress are older, no offense. And, you know, the, what's going to happen, the decisions that you guys are making are going to affect me and my friends. And so it's a scary situation. I think we absolutely need to cut spending right now. John, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. Okay, so this will be your first presidential yes. vote. I agree with the Congresswoman. Um, I believe we need to cut spending, but we also need to reform the tax code in a way that gets rid of the loopholes so that companies like GE Correct. actually pay a fair rate, can bring the effective rate down so they pay more, and we get more money into the Treasury. Okay, you're from GE. Do you want to defend GE? Yeah, I mean, I think that it should be a flat rate across all businesses, and then we wouldn't have a problem of having to who pays taxes and who doesn't. And it should be across the country in general. Everyone should just have a flat tax. Congressman, is there a chance to bring this group together in Washington? Can you achieve some sort of bipartisan compromise? Well, I think that everything that everyone has said here, I agree with. I mean, we, we have to cut spending. I think, though, we have to balance our budget. You cannot do it simply by cutting spending. You, you've got to raise taxes. Do you guys agree? can afford to pay. No, no. But I want to I I tell you, when, when Bill Clinton left office, the last Democratic president before Obama, we had record surplus. And in eight years, and in eight years, no, no, and in eight years of George Bush, with a Republican Congress and a Republican president, six of the eight years, the Republicans did nothing to cut the deficit. Absolutely. The deficits went higher and higher and higher. So this is something. No, no. So this is this is. 
President Well, presidential but you know what? We fought, we fought two wars on a credit card that were not paid for. Okay. And, and I think there's plenty. What I'm trying to say is that I think there's plenty of blame to go around. And we need to stop the finger pointing. We need to sit down and get to work. The American people want us to talk. We need to meet in the middle. And we need to do stuff for the American and, people. And Congressman, and, hold on one second. And Congresswoman, is there any tax that you would support increasing? Any tax? The government already takes too much. It has an insatiable appetite for the American people's money. Did you sign and the what Twitter they are going pledge? to do is continue to spend. The bureaucracy needs to be required to get in here and cut their spending. Every year I offer three bills for across the board spending cuts. What we need to do is make certain that the government is accountable. We Never need up. to make certain that we are reducing what the federal government spends, and we need to get government off your back, out of your pocketbook, and make certain that individuals keep more of what they earn and I don't less wanna, of it goes I don't to cut, I don't want to cut Social Security like the Republicans want to cut Social Security. Yes. I want to make sure that people have their Social Security. I want to make sure that people have their Medicare. And I have a and, bill and the Republican that would budget protect cuts the Social all of that. Security system. And I have a dream that someday we can bring these two <laughs> members of Congress together. Please, we'll, we'll come together. We're actually friends. <laughs> thank you both. Coming up, we've got the two best political ads of the season, and later, the Supreme Court, if they wipe out Obamacare, what does that really mean to you? So stay tuned.